Let's go ahead and make the tying right here on this tack. If you're going to be TIG welding, the first thing that you need to do is you need to feather down your tack. I'm going to show you and then I'm going to show you through the glass how it looks whenever you're tying in with the TIG process. The first thing that you need to do is you need to go ahead and grind some of the metal that you have on your tack. If you don't do that, your tying won't flow in correctly. You know, you'll have maybe a gap, maybe a line or you know it's not gonna fuse together so always ensure to go ahead and take some, some of that material out that's called feathering another thing is you want to tie in not at the bottom make sure if you have a tack on the middle you have it around right here because gravity if you have a tack right here sometimes gravity it'll be a low spot even if you grind it or you feather it down right here let's say uh, five o'clock or so you want to be in the middle or you know especially here on top since it's towards the top you don't have to do much you don't have to get the wire in there all you have to do is lay it on top right there and all you're gonna do is you're gonna get your tungsten and you're gonna burn side to side on the bevels because it's carbon carbon will fuse you know pretty easy all you have to do is introduce wire keep it in there and move forward always move forward whenever you're TIG welding especially when you're putting your bead in because if not all that excess material will be on the inside always want to start behind it it gets a bead hot but once you see that bead starts liquefy right there in the, in the end you can introduce your wire and all you got to do is just move it left and right you see that keep pushing forward push that wire in well, left and right. You can make little circles. So once you get close to the end, you can keyhole it. And what I mean by that is you dip it, you go left and right, you dip it, go left and right, walls. And then once you get to the end where you feather it down, just push the wire in a little bit and go right over it. And then remember to come back out slowly on the bevel. This right here is where we tie it in. As you can see, it flows in pretty good. Now, again, this is not to show off or demonstrate that I'm some big badass welder. This is so you can do it. If you're starting out, this might help you.